you know, one of the things that people are using Mentor for are code reviews. And I, I don't think that Mentor finds more than, let's say, 50% of the potential issues, uh, maybe not even that many. But what people have told us is many of the mistakes that the junior engineers or normal engineers are making, Mentor will catch. And so you can use it as a first pass for code reviews is that it, it's the first pass mm. and then mentor will find things and the engineers will fix that. And then after they're all fixed, then they send for the final approval. And so the final approval from the architects or principals will be only 10% instead of a hundred percent of what it used to be. And also they all have the confidence that, well, we'll mentor, uh, already ran through this and it found seven things and those seven things have been fixed so you kind of feel like oh the quality is coming in already higher uh hmm. and i think that does create a certain sense of confidence you know uh the types of things that mentors gonna find so now you kind of are looking for the things that it can't find and i really do think that it's an evolutionary process like mentor will continue to get better and hopefully at some point it can do all the code review uh, right now, it's not there, but that's sort of our goal. And the reason why I think you really need an AI to do code reviews, as Linus was pointing out, is for anybody that's done code reviews, uh, it's really hard, especially <laughs> if the code review is large, because the person that's looking at it, more likely than not, did not write that code, or at least not the new code. So even if they wrote the original code, uh, how far away are they from the original? Um, do they deeply understand everything that the new coder wrote? And oftentimes it's just an eyeball. You just eyeball it and say, well, this, and you know, there's like the really kind of weak code reviews of, oh, this violates our, our, our variable naming convention. Oh, you didn't use uh, three spaces here. Right. And it's like, what are we doing guys? Uh, wh whereas the, the ones that are more powerful is. You know, this is interesting, but you, the design of your algorithm here has uh, O of N squared complexity, and we can bring it down to log N type of thing. The problem, though, is being able to make those types of observations usually requires a deep understanding of the whole design, as well as potentially doing some performance profiling. But hmm. code reviews tend to not have anything to do with actually running the code, right? So... AIs, I think, can help with this.